Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. Hope you're having a great day. Got a 2020 model Renegade Valencia. This one's the 38RB, uh, which is going to be the uh, rear bath. It is a bath and a half motorhome. Uh, 38 foot, 6 inches long, I believe overall length, tip to tip. 12,000 original miles on this one. It's got the 360 horsepower Cummins under the hood with the uh, six-speed Allison automatic transmission in it. Uh, this coach has two slides. As you can see, one super slide on the driver's side, and then it's got the, um, the bedroom slide on the passenger side. Automatic hydraulic leveling, full body paint. Uh, one of the sharper paint schemes, in my opinion. It's got uh, kind of a charcoal gray with some lighter gray and then some black on it. Uh, super, super sharp paint scheme. Uh, 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator. You can hear it, I've got it running. Let's check the hours on it. Uh, 269 hours and we just serviced it, as you can see on the decal there. Uh, just been serviced by our team here at Chase Motorsports. Uh, it's got a 12,000 pound rear hitch on it. Uh, super nice condition, very, very nice. 2020 Renegade Valencia 38RB. On the passenger side, all of those bays are storage bays. So you've got one, two, three, four, five storage bays on this side. Um, we do keep the outdoor cooler refrigerators in stock with the slides. So if that's something that you are interested in having installed, we can take care of that. We can get that put in for you. So just wanted to give you a little outside view of this guy. Mint condition. Um, don't really know of anything it needs. It's got the outdoor entertainment. It's a little windy today, so I didn't run the awning out, but it does have the Gerard awning with the, uh, the motion sensor and all built into it. Tires are like new, all original 12,000 miles. We'll take you through the interior. All right, so I've got a uh, 2022 we actually just posted that was the RW, which is the uh, rear wardrobe model, which has like the closet in the back. This one's an RB, uh, which has the, the rear bath and then another half bath in the hallway. Uh, as you can see, cab, uh, spotless, very clean. These are so easy to drive. If you can drive a normal pickup truck, you can drive this uh, with no stress. Very, very simple. It's already got the um, electric brake controller was installed from Renegade. Uh, it's got the Garmin in-dash navigation, uh, the equalizer leveling system, the automatic hydraulic leveling all right there on your dash. Uh, it's got air ride seats on the driver and the passenger side. As you can see, and the seats have the uh, the lumbar support and the side support as well. Um, behind the driver's seat, you've got the theater seating. So when this coach was ordered new, instead of the sofa with the hide bed they chose to have the theater seating. When you're sitting there, you can recline those, turn around, and you've got your TV right across from you. Uh, the TV's also on a swivel mount, so you can actually pull this little... Um, tether here and the TV will come off the wall and you can move it whichever direction you want. So theater seating, uh, it's got some storage in here for your remotes and stuff. Cup holders and then of course they both recline. The uh, dinette is a booth style with storage, uh, slide out storage under each one of the seats and the dinette does convert into a bed so you can drop down that middle table leaf, drop it down uh, the two cushions uh, that are included set there and then it turns into a bed. Um, you also have a bunk over the cab. Uh, this one has a 60 by 80 bunk, which is like a queen size bed above the cab. Now, if you're traveling and you don't you know, need the extra sleeping space or whatever, you can actually push this forward. Uh, if you'll check out our the photos on our website, we took some uh, pictures with this push forward and it actually makes it like a full walkthrough cab. So basically this right here ends up flush with that and makes it where it's easy to step in and out of the cab. You really don't even have to duck down. Uh, bunk ladder included, of course. I've got a little TV up here in the bunk area. 
DVD player all set up and ready to go. Um, this coach sleeps um, six very easily, which means two above the cab, two on the dinette that turns into a bed, and then we've got a 72 by 74 king size bed uh, back in the master. The kitchen, very simple setup. Uh, you've got a the double bowl sink, uh, so one large sink. You've got a three burner gas cooktop, and then you've got a convection microwave above it there. Uh, this coach does have the multiplex system, uh, which is pretty much a digital control system. Kind of zoom in here so you can see it a little better. You've got your tank levels. You can turn your water heater on and off, water pump. Uh, it shows your generator hours, uh, battery voltage, all your lighting. Everything's controlled from this. And uh, you can also download um, the app, the mobile app, as you can see. Click that, um, and you can download the app on your phone and connect to the coach. So uh, very simple to use and uh, efficient, works really well. Uh, this one's got the 19 cubic foot um, fridge, Whirlpool fridge in it, so house size fridge. Uh, on the bottom and then a freezer with an ice maker on the top and I love these stainless latches um, a lot of these motorhome companies started using these the last couple of years but um, I love that very neat uh, and, and works really well now this coach uh, was factory equipped with a washer and dryer as you can see here where that uh, louvered uh, those louvered wood doors are we can open that up and You've got the, the dryer on top and then the washing machine on the bottom. And, you know, I had a customer actually call yesterday and they said, hey, uh, we don't need the washer and dryer. We would rather have extra closet space. And I said, no problem. We can take it out. So uh, we're actually removing um, the washer and dryer for them. These work really well, but they do use a lot of your water. And you've got 150 gallons of water on board. So... You know, if you were going on a trip where you're, you were going to be dry camping and you've got 150 gallons, I mean, that's enough for your toilet, your sink, people taking a shower, etc. cetera. Um, so those folks do a lot of dry camping. They actually uh, use it for racing. So they're at a track where they don't have access to extra water. And they said, hey, you know, we do our laundry when we get back home. A little pantry area with some shelving in it. And then uh, spin around here, we've got a half bath in the hallway. So... Uh, very simple little vanity area, medicine cabinet, and uh, then the toilet. And then in the master, we've got a king size bed. Of course, our fresh water tank is underneath the bed. And um, then a, you spin around here on back on the driver's side, we've got like a closet, a little entertainment area with our TV, DVD player. Um, and this coach has the connection for the in motion satellite. Uh, you've got a decent amount of closet space in this one. I mean, it's not as much as the um, the RW model with the rear wardrobe, but it's not bad either. So some drawers there. Um, and then moving on back, uh, we've got a Neil Angle shower. I'd mentioned that on one of the videos yesterday. So uh, it's like an angled shower, mounts in the corner, glass door. Again, very efficient. One piece fiberglass shower, very easy to keep clean uh, with a skylight up above it. And um, then over here to our left, we've got a little vanity area, another medicine cabinet, some storage, and our second uh, Dometic toilet there. So uh, again, it's 2020 Renegade Valencia. It's the 38 RB uh, for the rear bath, and which includes the half bath there, as you can see. And uh, we've got sleeping for up to six, uh, 12,000 miles, 360 horsepower Cummins in this one with a six-speed Allison fully automatic. There's no uh, clutch pedal or anything like that. You just drop her in gear and take off. Uh, 12,000 pound towing capacity on this one and uh, around 200 and I think 70 hours on the Onan 8,000 watt diesel generator. So I just wanted to give you a little walk around. Um, a, lot, a lot of my videos are kind of the same, but the first question someone asks when we don't do a video is, hey, can you send me a video of that one? Absolutely, we sure can. So we're trying to catch these uh, as they uh, go through our detail department and, and service department. We do check them over. We have a, um, a nice little list we roll down when each coach comes in. So uh, if you have any questions, please give me a shout. My name is Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, right of Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, check us out online, race-haulers.com. Yeah, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're banking on uh, getting 
over 2,000 subscribers in the next 60 days. So it would do us a huge favor if you could share our videos, if you like what you see, um, keep us on tab there and hit the subscribe button. That'll really help us out. My cell phone number, if you have any questions, 270-556-8461. And again, we're in Paducah, Kentucky, right here in the Midwest, uh, about 10, five or 10 miles off Interstate 24. And we're, um, we're a couple hours north west of Nashville and about three hours southeast of St. Louis, so right in between them. But just uh, give me a shout if we can help you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.